Hi everyone, my name is Carl. And I'm Katie. We're here at the Loveland Living Plan Aquarium, checking out some of the wonders of our own state, Utah. Did you know that Utah is a desert state with some of the driest areas receiving only 10 inches of rainfall annually? Now that's not a lot when compared to Hawaii's annual average of 30 inches per year, with some areas receiving over 400 inches. Much of Utah's native wildlife, like Walter here, need to possess special adaptations to help them conserve water. Because water can be scarce, the desert tortoise can store water and go up to a year without drinking. But we as humans don't have any of these special adaptations, so we need to pump water up from underground lakes or bring it in from far away. But why is that? Why should we work so hard and go to all the trouble to get water? Why do we even need water? We know that we need food to create energy, to help our heart beat, to grow and move, and all kinds of stuff. But water has no usable energy and doesn't have any helpful vitamins or minerals. Yet we will die in less than a week without water, whereas it takes up to three times longer to starve to death. Now here's why. Water actually does all kinds of important things in your body. For example, it's a comfortable temperature in here, but what if we were somewhere warmer? Here in the rainforest, temperatures typically reach a bit higher than we as humans are comfortable with. And if my body gets too hot, my organs could stop working properly. To prevent this, my body releases water known as... <laughs> sweat. Sweat can absorb excess body heat and evaporate, cooling my body down. That's so cool, Call. But water does so much more than that. It also removes toxic chemicals. You see, just like our Gen 2 penguins, when we eat and burn energy, our body can build up a variety of toxic substances. These penguins eat about 10% of their body weight every day. As the animal digests its food, its body can build up a variety of things it doesn't want, from simple extra salt to various toxic chemicals. If these substances build up, the penguin can get sick. Our human bodies would respond in a similar way. Ugh, that's not good. No, it's not. But mixing these toxic substances with water makes them easy to remove through a process known as going to the bathroom. There are still many other reasons why our bodies need water, but to learn these, we need to look a little bit closer. Right now, you are looking at a cell. Your human bodies are made up of about 37 trillion different kinds of these. There are different cells that make up all of your organs, like your heart, lungs, skin, muscles, and so on. And each one of them require water to function properly. Here's why. Imagine that this is a cell. Cells have lots of water inside of them. And they also have these things, organelles. They are basically like the cell's organs. These organelles float around the cell, absorbing stuff that passes by and releasing things they have made. Now, imagine that the cell starts to run out of water. Now, as the cell loses water, it loses shape and the stuff inside it starts to stick together. At this point, it's difficult for the cell to move nutrients around and continue functioning properly. Just like how it would be difficult for you to write your name if your hands were glued together. <laughs> if a cell completely dries out, it's bad news. And remember, your entire body is made up of cells. So if they stop functioning properly, you will stop functioning properly. Take for example, your heart. It's made up of cells that squish themselves to push the blood around the body. Without water, these cells have trouble moving, making your heart beat too hard, too fast, or too fluttery. It's easy to see why water is so important for your body. We need food as material and energy to power and build our bodies, but water takes care of pretty much everything else. It cools down our bodies, removes toxic chemicals, prevents our cells from shriveling up, and keeps our organs functioning properly. It's no wonder that when I'm thirsty, that I need water. It's a sign <coughs> from my body that it's time for me to take a drink. Not to mention that it helps animals like fish breathe and creates environments for creatures all over the planet. And join us again as we explore, discover, and learn about the wonders of our living planet. Thanks for watching and stay hydrated.